In this Excel video, I will show you three different techniques and methods of clicking and dragging a range of data in Excel, and each of them has its own purpose. Let's get started. So here I have a spreadsheet, and it's got some information here about a toy inventory, but over here I have a legend of sorts that explains what the color coding means. But I would like to move this little legend somewhere else in the spreadsheet. Let's look at three different ways that I could click and drag this range. I'm going to click and hold the click on F2, and then I'll drag to select the entire range. It's all highlighted now, and I'll put my mouse pointer at the edge of the selection, anywhere around the edge. Notice that my mouse pointer becomes a four-sided arrow, and I'll just left-click on that and drag to effectively cut and move that range of data. So I could scoot it over here, release the mouse button, and I have basically cut and pasted that range to a new part of my spreadsheet. I've moved it. Now, there are times when you don't want to cut and paste, you want to copy and paste. Well, there's a way to click and drag while copying and pasting as well. If you click and drag to select your range and then hold the control key, you can then click again on the edge of your range of data, hold the click and drag, and then release the mouse button. And this time I didn't cut and paste the data, I just copied and pasted the data. So that's control, click and drag. Now there is one other method we can use to click and drag our data. Again, I want to use the left mouse button to click and drag to select my range of data, but this time, instead of left clicking on the edge of the selected range, I'm going to right click. I hold the right click and I'm going to drag down and I want to just drop this, let's say here, and because I used the right click, Excel gives me some advanced options that I can choose from. I could choose move here. That would be the same as if I had used the click and drag method just to cut and paste or move my data. I could copy here. That's the equivalent of control clicking and dragging my range. So those are kind of repeats of what we've already done. But if we look down here, the third option is copy here as values only. If I click that, I don't get the formatting. All I get is values. In this case, it's the text that I had typed in in column G. Let's try it again. I'll click and drag to select my range. Right click on the edge and I'll drop it here. This time I'll copy here as formats only. When I do that, I get only the formatting. No values. Let's try it again. Highlight my range. Right click and drag on the edge of the range. I can choose link here. And doing that creates a simple cell reference formula that refers back to the original location. So if I change this to stocked up, tap enter on the keyboard, it changes down here. Why? Because I haven't really copy pasted what's actually here down here. If you select part of the linked range, you can look at the formula bar and see how it's producing these results. Excel has just created a simple formula to link this cell to G2, this cell to G3, this cell to G4. And the same is true over here, F3, F4. Okay, let's try it again. I'll click and drag to highlight my range, and then I'll right click and drag on the border of the range that I have selected. And this time I'm going to browse quite a ways down the spreadsheet and then I'll just release the right mouse button. And this time, instead of link here, I'm going to select create hyperlink here. So I click on that and I just get a hyperlink. However, from now on, whenever I want to jump back up to where this data is linked, all I have to do is double click on the link. It takes me right back up to the hyperlinked data. Let's look at the other options we have. I can click and drag to highlight my range right click and drag on the border of the highlighted range and then I'll drag this down. I'm going to put it over here on top of the data that already exists. I release the mouse button and I'm going to choose shift down and copy. When I select that, notice what it did. It shifted down the existing data and it copy pasted this data in its place. If I hold control and tap Z, you can see that it really did shift the data down at that point. I'm going to hold control and tap Y to put it back. And let's try the next option. I'll highlight my range, right click on the edge, click and drag, and I'll put it this time here. Release the mouse button. 
This time we're going to shift right and copy. So it should move the existing information to the right and then copy paste this here. I select it and it worked beautifully. And while we're messing up this spreadsheet, we might as well keep doing so to look at all of the different options that we have. I'll just click and drag and drop it down here. In this case, I'm going to choose shift down and move. So this option should move the existing data down over here at the left, and it should move this range over here to this spot. It will no longer be here. I select it and it worked. I'm going to hold control and tap Z to put it back. And I'm sure you can guess what the final option is going to do. Right shift and move. So it moves the existing data to the right and moves my selected range down here. As you can see, there is another option, but it's simply cancel. So in this video, we've looked at three useful techniques or methods for clicking and dragging to select a range and then dragging that range somewhere. We've got a simple left click at the edge of the range that helps us to move the data quickly and easily. We've got control and then click and drag the edge to copy paste. And then we've got select the range, right click on the edge, click and drag to drop it to get a list of advanced options and features. Each of these techniques can be very helpful, very useful as you work in Excel. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video. And you can support me through my Patreon account or buy channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. You're amazing. I really appreciate you.